All right, guys. <clears throat> I just flew the ferry drone in the house for the whole battery, 15 minutes. I'm going to post the video tomorrow. I'll speed it up. So, I mean, it was pretty boring. I was actually standing at the bar over here <laughs> with a Coke and, a, and an e-smoke with the controller. I, I wasn't even holding on to the controller because it hovers so well. I mean, it is the optical flow on that thing's really good. It hovers great. But, uh, you know, it went through the whole battery and it only had one error on the screen. And... I never lost connection, but it, but it actually, when the error came up, it gave me an option to reconnect because it said disconnected and it said reconnect and I hit okay. And it did, but it really, it never did disconnect. It just, this requester came up and said that it disconnected, but it really didn't. So, okay. I have come to the conclusion that's what's wrong with this thing is the GPS module. The GPS module is what has a bug in it. Because this, is, this was the third time that I've flown it in the house and never had a problem. The other two times I flew it in the house without the app. But like I said, if you, have the, if you don't have the app on, you can't start the video. But this time I had the app running and flew it indoors and it didn't never landed didn't come up with all them crazy ass errors on the screen it, you know bad heading that's what it always says bad heading and i think that has something to do with the gps when it does that bad heading and and another thing i noticed with that flight the other day was and then from the flight at pioneer park a few weeks ago was that Every time that I would turn the quadcopter to face me and bring it toward me, that's when that error came up, that bad heading error. So there's no doubt in my mind the GPS module is bad, and that's what's causing it. So now all we have to do is figure out how to disconnect it. Because I, if it's going to fly outside like it does in here without the GPS, I'm fine with that. I don't need GPS lock. You know, I'll take just regular flying, you know, just normal stuff. You know, I don't need no GPS lock. Don't need no stinking GPS. So we got to get one of these modders out here to take this damn thing apart and figure out how to disconnect that GPS module. I'm not a modder. I could probably take this thing apart, but who knows if I'd ever get it back together. That would be the problem. But, uh, yeah, so... That's the problem with this thing. It's the GPS module. There's no doubt in my mind. All right, guys. Have a nice day.